Hi there! I'm Thak, yeah, welcome to Thak Ironworks. Today we are going to make a traditional shepherd's crook handle. So I'm going to be using a piece of 3 8 square bar and uh, let's get started. Here we go. Okay, so first step is to draw out a taper on the bar. I want something about two inches long. And I'm keeping it the same width, so ending up with a ribbon-like taper, I guess you would call it. So there it is, about two inches long. It stays three-eighths of an inch wide, so the width hasn't changed. And now what I'm gonna do, even while it's cold here, I can do this, is just put it up on the corners and knock the corners down and I'm going to go back about 8 inches into the handle. And this is just going to become the handle and this will just soften up the sharpness of that edge, make it a little more comfortable in the hand. So there we have it, ready for step two. Okay, so I want to put about 5 eighths or 3 quarter over the edge. And I just bend that down on a 90 and then come back and I'm going to choke up on the hammer and I just want to roll that around and make an eye. Okay, the key to this step is getting a consistent heat about 7 inches long and it's got to be as even as you can make it. And then at about 7 inches I'm going to do a 45 degree bend here in the forks and then flip it in the forks and you just watch as I walk it around the anvil and walk it through all my junk on the floor there and bring it around and you end up with your shepherd's crook. Now I'm going to open it up a little bit and just adjust the shape. Just adjust it in the forks like that until you get it centered and you're pleased with the aesthetics of the overall shape. So there we have the Shepherd's Crook. Very uh, useful shape for a handle. Nice uh, traditional aesthetically pleasing, all that stuff. So please subscribe, thumbs up, all that stuff. Join us again in our next exciting video. We'll make something even more astonishing for you. So, back out.